Dear parishioners of Good Shepherd and St. Anne's Parishes, greetings on the Lord's Day. Hope you're all doing well. I know a lot has happened in the past week when I first recorded the message, our last message to all of you, and just wanted to say we miss you very much. On behalf of Father Paul, Father Mark, and myself, I just want to reassure everybody of our constant thoughts, prayers, and support for all of you during this time, especially any of you who are sick, lonely, or just feeling the weight of the uncertainty all around us. Special prayers go to our parishioners who are working on the front lines in our health care facilities. You are a powerful sign of God's unconditional love and healing to many, and Jesus is very close to each and every one of you at this moment. Please know that if any of you, anybody in our parish is, for that matter, who are struggling and just in need of somebody to talk to, please reach out to us at either parish. We are here for you. For myself this past week, I've just found myself praying with the passages of Scripture where the disciples find themselves in a boat in the midst of a big storm. And it is only when they turn to Jesus that the storm around them begins to calm down. We kind of find ourselves in a similar storm these days in dealing with the coronavirus. And I believe Jesus is inviting all of us to turn to him in order to experience much needed inner peace and strengthening. These Bible passages are found in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 8, verses 23 to 27. Again, in chapter 14 of the Gospel of Matthew, verses 22 to 23 and the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verses 16 to 21. I have also personally been strengthened by praying the Psalms of the Old Testament. It's kind of amazing at how many human experiences that occurred to people centuries ago are the same ones we experience today as well. Perhaps, and hopefully these Bible passages can help you, or maybe you have others of your favorite Bible passages that are helping feed you spiritually at this time and sustaining you in the hope, faith, and love of God. We pray that they're all helping you uh, each and every day. Don't forget to continue to join us daily in praying at least a decade of the Rosary, that is one Our Father, ten Hail Marys, and one Glory Be, for an end to the coronavirus and for the health and safety of all people. And also let us remember to reach out in a safe way to those most in need around us. If you have a relative, neighbor, or friend who is elderly or vulnerable in any way, please give them a call to make sure they are doing okay and to see if they need any groceries or other basic necessities. Let's not forget that see how they love one another is one of the first signs and expressions of authentic Christian faith. This past week, our parish teams have been working very hard to ensure that our community faith life at St. Anne's and Good Shepherd can be experienced and continued in an online format. A special shout out and a huge thank you to our communication teams at both parishes who are constantly finding creative ways for us to reach out to you. Please know that you do not have to have your own Facebook account to access our parish Facebook pages. Just insert the Facebook address of our parishes into any internet browser and you'll be able to follow us online. Beginning this week, we will have regular kind of programs and segments of live stream and online programs to help keep us connected and support one another at this time. One of the initiatives that will be beginning at St. Anne's is called Inspire. You'll remember very well in the last uh, couple of years we had the Aspire campaign, bringing back the steeple on our beautiful worship space and restoration of the exterior walls and windows of the church. And now we're going to inspire from beneath the spire, from within. And so I'm just inviting everybody in our Tecumseh Lakeshore communities to share some good news stories that have inspired you in these past few days. Kind of inspirational stories of how you've experienced God at work in your life. Uh, Inspirational stories of how you've heard other people reach out in creative ways to sustain and support one another. Those messages of hope and inspiration are what we're going to really strive to give in that program called Inspire, just allowing the Holy Spirit to inspire us more and more as we journey together. The other media networks and stuff will give us regular updates regarding you know, health precautions and safety concerns, and we need to continue following those very much. But our approach will be one to kind of uh, support that as well, but in, a, in the spiritual sense and in our faith life. Uh, Live from Good Shepherd on a weekly basis as well will be the Shepherd's Den. Not even sure if shepherds have dens, but these will. 
So here we're going to be just addressing different topics of faith and life from a faith-based perspective. And so if you have any questions or kind of doubts that are kind of gnawing at you or kind of tugging at the heart these days about how to really practice our faith under these circumstances and conditions, questions about the sacraments, our scriptures, whatever it might be, we're going to be kind of delving into this in the Shepherd's Den segment of the program and just help us one another to deepen our faith and knowledge of God's love for all of us. So stay tuned to those and several other little ways each day that we can just remain connected to one another and journeying as communities of faith. Finally, please keep checking our parish's media outlets for the latest weekly updates and directives from Bishop Fabro as he seeks to respond to a situation that changes rapidly and that he's working in concert with our local health units and to responding to any updates or changes that they make. We are all praying for our bishop as well. As we remain united to one another through prayer and modern technology, let us all turn to Jesus, who is our hope and our salvation. God bless and have a great and healthy week, everybody, and we'll stay in touch. Take care.